I'm Robert. And I'm Ellen. And this is Science Scene. In 1920, Thea Alba's acne teacher made her rotate her foot counterclockwise while writing threes with her right hand. That's hard to do. She managed easily. She moved on to using both hands to write two sentences simultaneously. That's also tough. One hand would be writing in German and the other in French. But Alba took her talent further. With practice, she could write four words simultaneously, using both hands and both feet, which she did as part of her show that she took across Europe. Another part of her act involved attaching a piece of chalk to each finger and writing ten different letters at once. But I can't even walk and chew gum at the same time. Exactly, because for the most part, people are really bad at doing two separate things at once. And yet, in lectures, it's not uncommon to see students playing on their phones or watching videos on their laptops while listening to the lecture. Studies have shown that laptop use in class is associated with poor performance. But is multitasking something we can get better at? Not unless you're Thea Alba. Stanford professor Clifford Nass took bets with his fellow researchers about what multitaskers would be better at than the rest of the population. They ran an experiment to see. Well, so what were multitaskers better at? None of the three things they tested, they were worse at organizing memories, they were worse at ignoring distractions, and they were worse at switching tasks. Multitasking doesn't save time. But it's difficult to not multitask because we live in a society that requires it. We spoke to Professor Donna Ballard, who focuses on chromatics, the study of time. She's a genuine time lord. And she suggested making a habit of unplugging as much as you can. Disable the notifications on your phone, and don't use it in situations when it's dangerous. She encourages people to practice mindfulness and meditation, which can be a religious or spiritual experience, but doesn't have to be. Be aware and live in the moment. If you need to study, don't let buzzes and bings distract you from business. For more information, including a simple trick to help keep you from daydreaming during class, check out today's Science Scene, part of the Life and Arts section of your Daily Texan.